Hello everyone, this is Ms. Howington at Research Triangle High School, and today we are talking about the sulfur cycle. So the sul sulfur is super important um, to human life and to our ecosystems as well. Um, it's the third most abundant element in the human body, and it um, is really important in making amino acids, which make proteins, um, and proteins make up everything that is made of everything, pretty much, that's alive. Um, plant tissue, human hair, human muscles, everything. All right, so we're going to start off. Um, sulfur is stored in soil and rocks and fossil fuels. So sulfur is stored pretty much beneath the ground. Um, and then every once in a while, um, a volcano might explode. So sulfur is stored... below the ground. And then every once in a while, maybe a um, volcano might explode or erupt, um, or like plants can uptake it from the soil, um, or it can uh, be released through the ocean, and a little bit of sulfur will be released into the atmosphere um, as sulfur dioxide. So it's released into the atmosphere atmosphere is sulfur dioxide. And then um, sulfur dioxide uh, will condense into clouds and will become and will produce acid rain. So then we have acid rain that uh, rains down onto the ground or acid deposition, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that if it's in normal amounts, then it's no big deal. It can be reabsorbed by the soil. Um, and then, like, plants and animals can eat it. So maybe, so once it's in plants, then animals can eat it. Um, let's see here. It's a little mousy. It could eat it, and then maybe a cat could come along and eat the mouse. All right, my excellent drawing skills here. Um, and then those things would eventually die and decompose and be decomposed by bacteria. And then that sulfur would be returned to its store. Um, um, and humans also like to mine things like coal. So we mine and extract things like coal. And then we burn things like coal to make electricity. And that releases a bunch of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. So that then um, increases the acid deposition or the acid rain that's happening um, to be levels that are not necessarily uh, found in nature because they would have been stored um, underneath ground. So this can cause things like it can acidify um, bodies of water and that uh, can harm organisms that live there and it can um, cause plants to die and tissue damage in plants and animals and that sort of thing. So um, that's a quick overview of the sulfur cycle. So sulfur is stored in the ground in rocks and soil, and then it's released every once in a while um, through the erosion of ocean sediment or through a volcano naturally, and then that um, sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere comes back down to the surface in acid rain. Um, sulfur stored in the soil can also be taken up by plants, and then it can go to other organisms through the food chain, and then living things eventually die and then decompose and would be returned to the sulfur store. Um, but humans mine things like coal, 
and then burn them in our power plants to make electricity, which we are needing more and more of every day um, because we have more and more electronic gadgets that we're using. And then that releases extra sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, which can contribute more acid rain. So if you have any questions, please ask in class. And otherwise, um, happy learning.